What's going on, guys? Today, man, we have got a treat for you. So, my truck, if you can't tell, was looking horrible. I mean, this thing was total filthy. The front bumper on it was all rusted out and bug guts and chips in the paint. I mean, look at all of this rust. The grill, the chrome was peeling. I mean, it looked horrible. So I decided it was time for change. So during the next couple minutes, you're going to see what I did to this vehicle from the interior, taking it all out, detailing it. This is after it was washed. So uh, here we go. This is pulled the floor mats out of this thing. And man, look at this. It was trashed. This thing was completely just gone. So I took the seats completely out of it, the floor mats, everything, and decided it was time to do some vacuuming. Let's do some interior detail. So vacuumed everything up. Man, let me tell you, was it a, a total disaster. But just vacuuming helped a ton. Then I do have a detailing uh, little Bissell to get rid of stains and such. So I took a, a PNS, um, actually it's Terminator and Carpet Bomber and cleaned the living fire out of this. So here's a before of this. And then I took a drill brush to it, did uh, the, you know, the suction of the Bissell and bam. I mean, total night and day difference of what this thing did. Look at that. That is just totally insane. Uh, total different truck put it all back together, got all the seats and everything, you know, done, put the floor mats back in, interior's done, changed the center console, got all the seats cleaned up and nice and neat. And uh, now, now it's time to move on to the front end. I was totally just tired of looking at the front whatsoever. So what did I do? Well, I tore the whole front end completely off of this thing. I ordered new bumper, new grill, new headlights. I mean everything. So here's everything torn apart. Here's the new grill. We got to put the emblem in and stuff, but no big deal there. So we go through and, uh, well, I go through, put the new bumper on with the new chrome down there. Then we're going to switch to the nice headlights and then uh, this is what they're going to look like and bam baby here it is and just a total total transformation it took me a while but during this whole time you know it, it was fine so uh, then I decided I needed to do a little bit of paint per you know uh, get the scratches out so I went over and did that and now here you go All right, guys, so I got bored and uh, it's echoey in here, I'm sure, because nothing's in my garage right now. But I got bored and uh, I was sick of the way my, my truck was filthy on the inside. Um, the front bumper, this whole part was completely rusted. The grill was peeling. I was done with it. So what I did was I pulled it in the garage. I pulled the whole interior, well, kind of the whole interior apart cleaned everything, shampooed, got everything looking great again, and then uh, put it all back together. And then I was waiting on parts because I'll show you some before pictures here of the headlights. Uh, they were all, you know, probably the original lights. The grill, like I said, was peeling. This was all dented plus <coughs> had a ton of rust on it. So I ordered a whole new front end and uh, so then when everything came in, I pulled it in the garage and pulled everything apart and put it back together. And now this is what you see. So uh, we've got LED lights, high and low beam. We've got LED fog lights. We've got a uh, switchback, what they call switchback turn signals that are LED. And then I had to wire uh, resistors with that. And with that, I made a video about 
and when that's edited, I'll put it up here. But there is a video of how to wire your, you know, for the 07 to 13 GMC, there, there will be a video of how to wire your resistors for your switchback. So what the switchback is, is let me turn these uh, lights on here. So if you look, them are amber. Well, they used to always be amber. Well, now when you start the vehicle, they're white and they stay white. And then when you go to turn your turn signal on, then they switch to the amber and then when you turn it off, well, they go back to the white. And then the fog lights, we've got uh, their switchback pretty much, uh, or not switchback, but they're uh, adjustable. So they're two different colors. We've got a 6,000K white, and we've got a 3,000K yellow. So let's show you that real quick. All right, so uh, <clears throat> let's show you these fog lamps. So there's the headlights, and uh, here's the turn signals. So, and then as you notice, whenever I turn it off, it goes back to white. Now, let's show you these fog lights. So, here is our 6000K white. And then if we turn them off and turn them back on, they go to a 3000K uh, amber. So, then if you turn them off, turn them back on again, they go back to white. So, yeah, that's the, uh, the turn signals in a, in a punch. <clears throat> And then, you know, like I said, once you turn them off, then they go to white. And this did require me to wire up the resistors. But, uh, yeah, so all new lenses, all new grill, complete. I mean, the whole front end's completely uh, pretty much new. Then I went through, which kind of sucks because it's raining now. So then I went through and I polished the whole truck. So uh, before... Uh, as you could tell, well, you probably couldn't tell, but um, before there were very bad swirl marks all over this paint. And so I went through and I polished all of the swirl marks out of this paint, every bit of them, and got it all out, all the way around. So uh, there's no more swirl marks on any of this. And uh, I mean, you know, the thing is, is I had some little rock chips here and there and you know i've got that but i still wanted to make it look good like so that's what i did i just polished the whole thing said forget it and now it is all shiny and i'm very happy with the the result of how it turned out so <clears throat> that is going to do it for this video Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for, you know, I wanted to show somebody this transformation because I was just in awe, I guess. And a lot of people were in awe because I did it myself. I didn't pay a shop to do it. I literally tore the whole front end apart myself and, you know, everything. So, uh, you know, hey, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. But thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one.